Hello, in this ninth video of my Time Value of Money series, I'm going to show the calculation of annuity payments and investment period. In this first example, we do have a present value of $200,000, and we wish to calculate the annuity payments over a period of 20 years at 10%. And so we can look at this $200,000 as the present value of a 20-year annuity. And so defining the present value of an annuity and making the substitutions and solving for payments, we find it to be $23,491.92 going the algebraic way. But we can use the BA2 plus and make the entries as shown. So let's bring that up. First, we clear the screen and then the Rachel second clear TVM second clear work and so we put in two hundred thousand dollars with a negative as our PV and keep in mind we're gonna stay on the third row of keys because the input uh, consists of a present value whenever input consists of either present value or future value and for that matter if we also have payments then we're gonna stay on the third row of keys otherwise when cash flows are different from one year to another we stay on this second row in which case we're gonna use CF the cash flow register anyhow continuing 20 is N and 10 is required rate of return and so we simply compute payments and that's it right here 23,491.92 and this says how about monthly what if you wish to make uh, monthly withdrawals so all you gotta do is to simply go ahead and adjust your input so 20 years is gonna convert to, to 240 months because 20 times 12 is 240 months and 10 percent is gonna be divided by 12 to get the monthly rate and so let's do that second clear TVM second clear work and so let's put in two hundred thousand dollars and again that's our PV and two hundred and forty which is twenty multiplied by twelve is gonna be our N and ten percent divided by twelve equal would give us the monthly rate and it's better you do it the way I just did it so you don't have rounding errors so compute payments and that's going to be your monthly annuity payment. All right, let's look at the second example right here. In this second example, uh, we do have a future value. So this is probably a case where you're saying, I wonder what the annual payments I should be making into uh, some investments so that 20 years from now, I'm going to get 1.5 million, uh, knowing that I'll be earning 10% uh, per annum. So this 1.5 million here would represent um, the future value of an annuity so if you define it substitute and solve it's going to be 26,189 and if you want it to be monthly then this 20 again is going to be 240 and this 10 you divide it as shown putting in 1.5 million as your future value and compute payments no need to do it you know what's up oh this third example is even more exciting so here you have an initial you wish to make an initial investment of two hundred thousand dollars or maybe you already have this in some investments and you would like um, to determine what further annual contributions that you're going to be making into this investment such that 20 years from today the investment balance value if you like is going to be 1.5 million dollars given a rate of return of 10 percent so I've kind of etched it out here for you, all right, manually speaking. So this 1.5 million can be viewed as the future value of an annuity, um, which in addition to the uh, future value of this $200,000, which is a present value. So I defined it here, solve for payment, substitute, and it's going to be 2697.51. But if you don't like the algebra, well then, let's do it the BA2 plus way. Clear the screen second clear TVM second clear work two hundred thousand dollars with a negative is our PV and 1.5 million it's gonna be our FV 20 is gonna be our N and 10 is gonna be our I over Y and we compute payment and you can remove this negative by hitting this and that's gonna be two thousand six hundred ninety seven point fifty one per year and you can also do it monthly so anyhow, 
that's um, doing it manually and using the BA2 plus about on spreadsheets. So first you define your inputs for the first problem where you have a present value of $200,000 and you wish to calculate the annuity payment. So here's your function right there. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's going to be equal PMT and you can double click it. All right. And it prompts you for rate. Click on this comma for number of periods, which is N, click on this comma. For present value, hit a negative and click on this. That way your result comes out positive, all right? Otherwise, it doesn't really matter a whole lot. How about the second one? In the second one, you have uh, a target of 1.5 million in the future. And what's going to be the annuity payments? So again, we're going to come out here and hit PMT. Open parenthesis. Again, it prompts us for the rates. We click on it for the number of periods we click on this guy here and the next is uh, present value we do not have a present value and we need to put in zero because if we don't the next argument would be considered a present value based on the algorithm here so we hit comma and then the next argument is going to be future value which we do have and if you want your result to be positive then hit negative and reference this guy right here and there you have it all right and the third and final one is the case where you already have this two hundred thousand dollars and you're shooting for a target of 1.5 million what's the payment well now you have the whole shebang right there so it's going to be equal pmt and click on the rates which is 10 percent click on the number of periods which is 20 comma click on uh, present value and uh, that's your present value right there and comma and then click on future value so I could have put in a negative in front of present value but by doing so for the future value my result will definitely be positive because it's an equation anyhow that's your result right there and the final problem we have here is one that allows us to calculate for the number of periods so if you have two hundred thousand dollars right now and you'd like it to, uh, to have two point five million dollars in your investments and you believe you can earn 10% per annum, how long would it take you to achieve that financial goal? So anyhow, this is actually solving for N. So you can solve for N using the future value formula or present value formula. Future value formula looks more linear, so you can define it and solve for N as I show here, and you're gonna find it to be 26 and a half years. Better yet, let's do the BA2 plus way, clear. So with this, second clear TVM, second clear work. And you're going to put in $200,000 with a negative is your PV. And your financial goal is $2.5 million in the future. All right. And that's your future value. And 10 is your I over Y and your computing N. And that's your 26.5. And on spreadsheets, it's uh, basically the same. You're going to use the NPER function, as I show you right here, and you're going to find the result to be 26.5 as well.